Hi and welcome to another Tutorial Tuesday. Today I'll be working on an 8x8 canvas and for this I'll be using a couple of stencils but mainly I'll be using this uh, Color Lab paint kit by Marion Smith Designs. Now let me show you what comes in the kit. It's pretty cool. So essentially it's a bunch of pigments that you can mix and match to obtain different colors. It comes, of course, with the jars of pigments. So you get two, four, six, eight pigments in one kit and three spray bottles. These spray bottles are equipped with a special mechanism so that um, it won't spray. It, it has a locking mechanism so you can prevent it from uh, spraying accidentally. And the instructions also include the recipes to create different colors of now, of course, because these powders are pigments, of course, because these powders are pigments, you can also incorporate those with other mediums such as paste and gels, etc. Okay, so I'm about to mix my colors for my sprays. You're going to need water. I have filled up each of my sprays uh, to just about where it starts curving. And these are the instructions and the little pots have a letter on each of them. So essentially you just pick your color, let's say for instance I'm going to start with lemon drop which is a nice yellow and the circles here, let me zoom in, represent the measurement that you need to make with the tiny uh, spoon or the scoop. So for instance if it's all grayed out of course you're going to need a full level. This is half and this is just a speck. Uh, she says about the size of two sesame seeds, roughly. And then you would move on to the chart, to the recipe. And um, for instance, lemon drop, I'm going to have to use four level scoops of the letter Y, which is this. Let me just test that out. Now my mechanism is locked so all I need to do is slide this gizmo in the unlock position and just start spraying I guess. Gorgeous, look at that beautiful yellow. Yum! So I'm going to prepare the other colors. So now it's time to color the background of the canvas. So I'm going to start with my first color which is Lemon Drop. I'm going to unlock this. So this is what it looks like when you spray on a canvas. Of course, the canvas is pre dressed so it has a bit of um, coating to it, but I really soaked that up. And I kinda wanna go like this. Oh yeah. Ta -da! Look at this, how gorgeous is that? Oh, I'm loving this. I'm gonna dry this, I have a nice under paper now. As you can see, the colors dry much, much lighter. Well, that's very yum. I could go on and on, I could add more, but I totally love the lighter color of the background. And I love what I'm seeing. I love the patches. I'm gonna show you. Look how cool this is. Love that. Okay, so here's what it looks like when it's dry. So, because I'm working on a canvas, I'm pretty sure that is the reason why it reacted this way. It kind of repelled um, the other colors, but I love it. Look how fun. So, um, I may have done a couple of things here. I may have flooded the stencil and because this is, it's not a um, solid surface. The stencil was, or the canvas was buckling under the the, um, the stencil, so that's why I have leakage. But this is what it looks like on paper. Awesome. So cool, 
a lot cooler. <laughs> I don't know, to me it's just more fun, it's more abstract, and I absolutely love it. All right, so now we're gonna move on to our main element, which is flowers. So because the uh, paint pen is getting absorbed by the pigment in the modeling paste, because don't forget the modeling paste is porous as well, so it doesn't fully encapsulate the pigment and I can't get a stark white. So what I'm doing is I'm using the paint pen to go over a second time what I have already marked with white and just using my fingers to spread it. And what it does is it turns some of these areas in pink and it gives it that nice blended highlight, which I like. Yeah, that was way too much fun. <laughs> I love how it turned out, despite the fact that the leaves are too dark. I love the option of being able to create my own colors. And from what I gather, by having just these eight pots, you can make all the colors. And again, like I said, if you put a lot of water in the bottle, it will dilute the pigments a lot. But if you're just using a small amount of paste, then recalibrate your recipes. And that's it. I hope that you've enjoyed this. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And we will see you next week.